Welcome back to the Red Carpet Reup, your go-to channel for the latest in hip hop and entertainment. If you haven't already, make sure to hit that like button, share this video, and subscribe to our channel for more exclusive content. Today, we're diving into the hot topic everyone's been talking about. The game's absence from Kendrick Lamar's Pop Out concert in Los Angeles. Let's break it down into three key points. Ready? Let's go. First up, the game addressed his absence during a lengthy Instagram Live session. Despite not attending the concert, he was full of praise for Kendrick. He described Kendrick's performance as amazing for the West Coast and emphasized that he didn't need to be there to appreciate it. He called it a big win for the West Coast hip hop scene. Kendrick do his shit and what he did last night was amazing for the West Coast. I sat back and I watched it. I ain't have to be there. You know what I'm saying? I think it's a W for the coast. Myself through this shit, you know, the whole, the, my, my whole time in this shit, and I've been in this motherfucker since 2003, right? Because that's when I got signed to Aftermath, 2003. I've been in this shit since 2003, being a solid ass nigga to everybody, nigga. And if you ask anybody, you know, anybody that really know me that's in this motherfucking industry, and I'm talking about anybody, nigga, you could ask motherfucking, go ask Dr. Dre, man. Like, sit Dr. Dre down and really ask that nigga about who I am and my character and, uh, you know, like, what he really feel about me at the end of the day as a man, nigga. Fuck an artist and all the rest of that shit, nigga. Talking about as a man, nigga. You know what I'm saying? R.I.P. my nigga Nip. But ask Nip his, you know, if you could ask Nip himself, he would have told you. And he did tell you out of his own mouth, nigga, what, you know, I contributed, you know, to his career. From the beginning, bro. From the beginning of this shit, on the West Coast, nigga. Coming straight out of West Side Cedar Block, Bompton, Piru. Um, which is still my hood to this day. Nigga ain't never slacked, they never ran, they never did nothing but throw this shit up. Nigga, I took that Cincinnati hat worldwide, nigga. I put on for Compton, nigga. And I put on for the West Coast, nigga. And Top Dog know what it is. Kendrick know what it is. Nigga YG know what it is. Mustard know what it is. Ty Dolla Sign know what it is. Dr. Dre know what it is. Snoop know what it is. Nigga Hit Boy know what it is. My nigga Dom Kennedy know what it is. All the powers that be on the West Coast. And I hope my RJ, nigga, everybody, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Everybody on this motherfucker know what motherfucking Chuck Taylor is and what I am. And, uh, you know, what I've done for the West Coast, nigga. Draco, the ruler, know what it was with me, nigga. Um, you know, we chopped it, nigga. We was in the studio, you know, R.I.P. And so I, one thing I hate is when the West Coast motherfucker that I fuck with um, lose their life. That shit ain't cool to me. That shit ain't cool to me. It's cool to y'all. Y'all like to pit niggas up against each other and then go under the motherfucking, uh, you know, the comments and shit. Put R.I.P. this and R.I.P. that when a nigga die and then tell a backtrack on your motherfucking, on your gaslighting ass fan, fanhood, you know what I'm saying? And, and tell a nigga, you know, oh, you should have, y'all should have squashed that and y'all should have been bigger than that. Nah, man, a lot of, a lot of y'all motherfucking fans be the reason this shit is all fucked up. Now, as far as the motherfucking Kendrick and Drake shit, nigga, that's Kendrick and Drake shit, nigga. You know what I'm saying? They, nigga, Kendrick do his shit, and uh, what he did last night, nigga, that shit was amazing for the West Coast, nigga. I sat back and I watched it, nigga. I ain't have to be there, you know what I'm saying, to think that the shit was motherfucking cool to major. That's cool, nigga. I think it's a dub for the coast. I think that what, what K-Dot did for a lot of West Coast niggas last night was hard as fuck, nigga. I think it was hard. I think it was dope for him and, and big-hearted of him to do that shit for niggas. You know what I'm saying? But that nigga learned that shit on the way up. The same way that he looking out, nigga, niggas didn't look, nigga, Snoop looked out for me like that, nigga. I looked out for motherfucking Kendrick like that. I looked out for Nip like that. You know what I'm saying? I looked out for Top Dog before it was, you know, Top Nigga, I could have, nigga, Top Dog, um, Top Dog wanted to motherfucking give me half a Top Dog. I didn't want nothing from niggas, though, bro. I just wanted to push niggas in the right direction. Nip asked me personally what he could, what he could do to pay me back for what I did for him, nigga. I met Nip on the streets, nigga. I brought Nip in the studio, nigga, in Encore Studios, Burbank, California, nigga. I got on two of his songs, nigga, and let him go do his thing, nigga. And Nip rose to his celebrity and to his power, nigga. But, nigga, I was just a step on the ladder for something, you know, uh, I was just, you know, there for a nigga that was already gonna go to the moon. But niggas ain't gonna try to strike Chuck Taylor, nigga, and say I ain't do what I did, nigga. I looked out for everybody on the coast, nigga. Ask Glasses Malone, nigga. Ask anybody that you can ask, nigga. You go ask Big Boy, DJ Head, Fuzzy, nigga, anybody about motherfucking game. Chuck Taylor on the West Coast, nigga. I ain't did nothing but look out for niggas. That's all I did, nigga. Put on for my city. I took Compton around the world, nigga. And I did this shit for years, nigga. I did this shit for years. On my own, nigga. 
every motherfucking beef, battle, motherfucking shootout, anything that came towards the West Coast or Compton, nigga, I stood up on that shit, nigga. Me and my niggas. You know what I'm saying? Everybody know this shit. And the internet and motherfucking, um, you know, IG, Instagram and Twitter and all these, you know, fuckery ass, motherfucking mixed emotions ass, uh, fucking dick hopping ass nigga apps and sites is what fucked this shit up, man. This shit used to be smooth as shit. So yesterday when I look at, you know, what Dot did for the city, nigga, I personally thought that that shit was amazing, nigga. He didn't have to do that, but he did it, nigga. And I thought the shit was dope. As far as my relationship with Drake, nigga, I, nigga, Drake is my brother, nigga. I fuck with Drake. Nigga, Drake, nigga, if I call Drake and I told the nigga I need this or I need that, nigga, he gonna do it. If I tell him when my kids want concerts, tickets, nigga, he gonna, nigga, they in that bitch, nigga. You know what I'm saying? I'm a father first, nigga. And, and my loyalty is what motherfuckers is loyal to me. You know what I'm saying? If you conspiring, hating, and talking shit behind my back, then it's fuck you, nigga. It's fuck you, nigga. And niggas know what it is with me, bro. I'ma stand on this shit and you can't move me, nigga, unless you move me. And it take a lot to do that, nigga, because niggas ain't the only niggas out here pushing no lines on the West Coast, nigga. Niggas ain't the only niggas out here pushing lines, nigga. I've been in this shit for 20 motherfucking years, nigga. Standing on my motherfucking toes in this shit, nigga. I've been in this shit for 20 motherfucking years, nigga. 20 plus years. And like I said, everybody know what it is with Chuck Taylor, nigga. Ask around, nigga. DJ quit. Motherfucking problem. You know, shout out to them niggas just putting their project out. Like, niggas know. Every West Coast rapper know. Whether it's, you know what I'm saying? A young nigga, a new nigga, or old nigga, nigga. I was out here, nigga. Cedar Block, Bomb and Pyro, banging this shit, nigga. Niggas know. You know what I'm saying? Whack 100. He know. I met that nigga. When I met Whack 100, nigga, it was guns drawn, nigga. He was on Shug's side, nigga. Ask the nigga. I had guns drawn on motherfucking Shug and Whack, and they had their shit on us, nigga, and that's what it was. Secondly, the game highlighted the unity and big-heartedness of Kendrick's gesture. He acknowledged that what Kendrick did for the West Coast artists was hard as fuck and dope. This event saw appearances from heavyweights like Dr. Dre, Tyler, The Creator, YG, Roddy Rich, and more. It was a historic night for West Coast hip hop. Lastly, let's talk about the game's relationship with Drake. While the game has been open about his support for Drake, which has sparked some criticism, he reaffirmed that Drake is like a brother to him. Interestingly, at the concert, Kendrick performed several diss tracks aimed at Drake signaling that their beef is far from over. So there you have it. The game may not have been at the Pop Out concert, but he made sure to show his support from afar. Kendrick Lamar's event was a monumental moment for West Coast hip hop, bringing together some of the biggest names in the game. What do you think about the game's absence and his comments? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more exclusive content from the Red Carpet Reup. Thanks for watching.